See you later. Thank you. Stephen Garnett is having a heart attack. Hello, I'm Dr Ashton. How are you doing? He was decorating at home when he started to get chest pains. You've not had surgery recently. No. You've got no other illnesses. No. no. And you've not had a stroke, have you, in the past? No. You don't have an ulcer? No. no. Are you a smoker? I am, I'm afraid. Yeah. How much do you smoke? About 20 a day. Not anymore, mate? No. When you're having a heart attack, you have a little clot that comes into one of the arteries uh, of the heart and blocks it off, and that bit of tissue beyond that then starts to die. So what you do is you give a, a drug and that dissolves the clot. Julia Edwards, a cardiac specialist nurse, is monitoring his condition. The treatment is called thrombolysis, but it does carry risks. Oh, I think that's there, actually. There are strict criteria for its use. Oh, there's the right side. Oh, I see. What, what you can see here is you get this little bump, then you get the QRS complex, then this little bit should come down to the baseline, the ST segment. It's not on the baseline. So, so that means he's now hit, hit our criterion, so we're going to give him the clock busting drug. Right, so that last ECG we've done, yeah. you've, you've hit that criteria in there, so right. are you happy for us to give you that drug, yeah. a clot-busting drug? Yeah. But, but this drug's not without risks. You can have a, a bleed uh, elsewhere. OK. Yeah. If you get any pain or anything going on, then you let us know, but we'll be watching as well. All right. Stephen's yeah. wife has stayed in recess to be with him. Do you want to do that while I do the paperwork? We do know that by giving this, you reduce the amount of people who actually die from their heart attacks. It, it makes a very significant difference giving thrombolysis. 20, 30 years ago, if somebody had a heart attack, you basically held their hand and, and gave them some pain relief. So it's great to be able to do something now. All right, that's yeah, it. All right, thank you. Okay, sweetheart. That's fine. Stephen's blood pressure is dropping. He'll need constant monitoring. Okay. It's on a fairly sticky wicket, but if he's in the right place, he's fully monitored. If anything does happen, if his heart goes into any funny rhythms, we can deal with that straight away. So, um, given what's going on, he's in the best place. Sometimes this does happen, so don't lose too much. For the next hour, all the team can do is watch and wait. While Chris is taken to an orthopaedic ward to await his operation, Andy has come to check up on Stephen. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Perfect. So his blood pressure is looking very good, and his heart rate's nice, and he just has eyes closed and just speak, just exactly how somebody thrombolised should be. So, see, he's got his wife's doing the worrying, but he's looking chilled, and that's exactly right. And his mum. Yeah. Looking good, though. It's looking all, all looking good. Much better colour, actually. Yeah, good. Stephen is now out of immediate danger. Hey, his heart attack stopped now. We've stopped it in its tracks by dissolving the clock that was causing the heart attack. So, uh, you know, he had a problem and we've solved it. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Cheers. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure. He's going to the cardiac care unit.